this is Windowed Anime Club, it's me Jenny, aka Class Librarian, and this week's anime was the 2014 reboot of Sailor Moon, I think it's Sailor Moon Silver Crystal, or Sailor Moon Crystal, and my quick review for this is, as someone who's never watched any of the Sailor Moon franchise before this point, I really really enjoyed it. There's only one episode out, so it's very hard to judge it alone on this episode, but this episode I really enjoyed, I think it's very light-hearted, it's very frivolous, I like the art style, it's very very effeminate, there's lots of very impressive hair effects and it's very girly and very pretty, but there's enough badassness that could happen that I'm really excited to see how this progresses. Also, as the quintessential magical girl shoujo anime that all of my anime friends have watched and love and adore, particularly the girls, um, it has a really firm foundation for story and character development that even though I know absolutely nothing about it other than it is the iconic shoujo anime, um, I really know that there is a really great foundation for the story, so I'm really, really interested to see how it progresses. As I said, I like the art style, I think the music is pretty good, um, and I'm really, really excited to see how this progresses. It's only one episode in so far, um, and I'm really looking forward to watching it. I think this can be the first ever anime that I have watched episode by episode. Um, usually I wait to watch it in bulk, but because there's such a long pause between episodes, it's about two weeks between episodes, I really am going to watch it episode by episode, and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, as I said, um, I haven't really watched that many um, shoujo or magical girl animes. Um, mostly romance animes, or particularly feminine animes, don't really work very well for me. Um, the only two magical girl animes that I've watched before this have been Madoka Magica, which I know is incredibly unusual for a magical girl series because it is very, very dark, and Princess Tutu, which is again a short running um, magical girl series, which I believe is quite unusual in the whole genre. Um, but basically, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I think it's got a really good foundation, I think there's a lot of progression that can happen and I'm really 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 looking forward to seeing it and all its pretty hair effects and um, definitely I've watched some uh, one or two pictures from the original series um, and I have a very very vague idea of what it could be about um, but I'm really interested to see how it looks updated, it looks very pretty, very modern um, and it's definitely got a lot of 80s feels to it so it's I think it's going to be a really nice nostalgia pick for people who are fans of the franchise and for people like me who are just being introduced to it it's a really good starting point I don't feel lost in nostalgia, I don't feel lost in an in-joke that I don't understand I feel like I can just jump into the series and enjoy it for what it's worth um, and I can see why the fan franchise and the foundation is so well loved and I'm really really looking forward to it um, sorry I haven't been doing reviews for anime recently, um, the last couple of Source for Nerd anime picks have been a little bit creepy um, from what I've heard from other people and other anime reviewers. Um, so I've just been catching up on my Studio Ghibli and re-watching um, Magi Kingdom of Magic. So um, I'm sorry about that, I hope to do a couple more reviews in the future. Um, and I look forward to being in this little anime bubble again. Feel free to comment down below your thoughts on my review and this anime and all of those sort of things and I hope to see you guys very soon. I apologise for the blinding whiteness that I am probably right now. I am quite warm, it's very sunny in this corridor, I need to go and find some shade. Um, but there we go. I will see you guys all very soon. Bye guys. <laughs>